Hello friends and welcome back to Art Class with me, Mr. Blakely. Today we are going to be doing these things that you see on the screen. This thing, something like this. This is a Picasso inspired portrait. So we're going to be um, actually taking pictures of ourselves, uh, tracing over them, and we're going to be adjusting the size of things and moving the paper around so that our proportions and our um, where everything's laid out on our portraits are off. I'm going to do this a few different ways. I'm going to show you how to do, you know, a couple of different methods. This was the one I liked the most though, of the ones that I did. So I decided to put it up here at the front. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to get this off the screen and let's start it up. All right, guys. So I'm just going to go through this quick and easy way here first. Um, so you can see I'm pretty big in the frame here. I got pretty close to my camera on my Chromebook as I was taking this. Trace around the outside, and trace around the outside of my new <laughs> uh, quarantine mohawk here. Now, once I have the basic outline of my face, I think I'm going to do one eye in a normal spot, like this, and eyebrow as well. But the second eye, I'm going to move up and over here. And the other thing I'm going to do is zoom in. You can do that by hitting Control Plus on your um, Chromebook. And I'm going to put that second eye up like really high and over to give it kind of a weird, distorted look. And the eyebrow as well. And then for the nose, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna have the nose be in between. And I'm gonna probably zoom out just slightly. And the effect of this will be distortion, but not like so distorted that it looks weird. I also did a second version of this where um, I did it, but I did the features even more distorted and it kind of started to look weird. Um, and then I probably am also gonna draw my beard in, but I'm gonna draw it like kind of offset. So like come down here, like that. Maybe add a little bit of my hair in up here. Um, and then my mouth I'll probably make a lot bigger. So it goes more or less from side to side here. All right, and then at this point, you are just going to take uh, markers and color in. I'm also gonna add ears and probably a body on here, but I just wanna show you sort of the quick, basic method for doing this. All right, and here's another version. Um, I don't like this one as much, but um, this is definitely another way. I, I should say I don't like how this particular one turned out as much. Um, but I'm going to show you how I did this one as well. This actually, the last one just involved one picture. This involves uh, three different views. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at how that turned out. You're going to trace around the outside of your face here on your Chromebook here. This is just regular paper. And I would trace one or two of your features. In this case, I traced an eye. Um, and then I also did the eyebrow and I went ahead and switched to this different picture and you can zoom in and out. Um, and I wanted to get the uh, second eye here to be a little bit bigger so that when you see the final result, it looks, um, you know, it looks distorted, looks weird. Um, so this is one way that you can do it. Just trace each different, um, feature from, I, I ended up shooting a bunch of different pictures of myself here, um, as you can see. So I would say to do this assignment well, you want to have three different uh, views of your face, um, at least in this method. Now this is, um, as you can probably tell from the drawing that I'm doing here, this is a slightly different method than the first image I showed you. All right, and it's just plain old Mr. Blakely this time. Um, so. Those are two different ways to do it. Um, just like last time, just like the previous times, this is due 
a week from today, um, Monday the 20, let's see, what is today? Monday the 27th. So let's do one week to, from today, which is uh, May 4th, May the 4th, ha <laughs> ha. Um, so yeah, there's a few different ways to do it. This was my first guy, you saw him. This was the one I thought turned out most successfully. It's probably the easiest method to do, but um, if you're feeling more adventurous, there was that second guy again. And there was actually one more that I did that turned out super weird. Um, let me show him here. Just really bizarre. Um, but this one, I actually drew the side, uh, sorry, the side of the face first, uh, kind of the profile turned this way, and then drew the rest in. So, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's that's the video. Um, keep doing what you're doing, and I miss you guys. And yeah, we'll see you later.